This week's Week in Review covers LinkedIn, Vine, and Google+. Hey everybody, Andrew McCauley here, and first up, we're gonna talk about Google+. Google+, just announced that now they are going to show you how many views you've had on your profile. Now, it's not just the number of views on your profile, but it's also the collective number of views that you've had on your posts, your images, your videos that you've been sharing, so that when you go to your profile now, just underneath your heading, you can see exactly how many views you've had for the different things all the way back from 2012, October 2012. So, what's the point of that? Well, it just gives you an indication of how you're going. So if you're out there and you're seeing your numbers not increasing, then maybe it's time to check out how you can increase a lot more. So that's Google Plus looking at the views, the number of views that people have had on your profile and your activity on that platform. Also this week, LinkedIn just announced that next week, April 14, that they are getting rid of the company products and services tab on your company page. So if you have a company page on LinkedIn and you've put effort and time into creating products and services, you're gonna find that is disappearing on April 14. Now, what can you do in place? Well, November last year, LinkedIn launched showcase pages which means that you can actually have a whole range of products or services for your business and followers, people on LinkedIn, can follow that product or service without having to follow your company. So for instance, if Microsoft have a a product, let's say Windows, whatever it is, or Excel, they can have a product page where you can go and like that page, but you don't have to go and like Microsoft. If that makes sense, good. So they are getting rid of uh, products and services tab from your LinkedIn page, your business page, but you can use the showcase page. So that's LinkedIn. And finally, Vine, if you're using the Vine app, Twitter's Vine app, you can now instantly message your friends, either your friends that are connected on Vine or the contacts inside your mobile phone. Now, the group feature, there's no such thing as a group feature yet. So what happens if you wanted to message a whole bunch of people at once, you could message them all, but you'll get back individual conversations. There is no uh, room for group messaging just yet. You can message to a group of people at once, but you're gonna get individual conversations coming back. So that's the Vine app now letting you message between your friends. You never could do that before, but now you can. All right, so that's this week's Week in Review. I'm Andrew McCauley for Autopilot Your Business. Thank <laughs> you.